up you guys it's me luke and welcome back to another video or if you're new here oh, welcome to my channel if you're new here i've been posting videos about the kardashians new reality show since it first started airing in the beginning of 2022 and we have already completed the first three seasons so we're just one season behind and the playlist is linked down below if you want to catch up or watch all of my previous kardashian videos but before i get into season four i thought it would be fun to give you guys a little bonus video for christmas i'm not much of a christmas person i guess it depends on the year and what's going on but there were a couple of Kardashian Christmas storylines that I left out of my previous Kardashian video because in that video I was trying to wrap up season three and I did my reaction and commentary to four episodes when I usually do two so there was a lot to get through so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you some of those storylines that were left over in my extended reactions which are on my patreon so if you're ever wanting to see my full reactions they're over there but as a little bonus this video will include my reaction and commentary to storylines regarding Christmas all just very like celebratory seeing what crazy cuckoo stuff with K's goes through with the Kardashian Kardashians during the holiday times and yeah I really hope you enjoy this video I do have a couple more videos coming before the end of the year kind of like wrap-ups you know to do with like film TV music so stay tuned and without further ado let's get into it because I'm about to dive in to this crazy Kardashian Christmas I love this time of the year because we can really just focus on family. If that's not busy enough, now we decide to add making a Christmas album into the mix. Mother, yes. are you excited to sing? I am, let's go. Oh God, no. La, 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 no. La, la, la. Why are they, Chris always try to make these Christmas albums girl. One, I don't like Christmas. Two, you can't sing. Three, I don't like Christmas music. I don't think I'm gonna like this. <sighs> no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the Grinchness at bay because I know a lot of you probably like Christmas. After my mom recorded her Christmas song, Dad, I remember this. For the fields we go, mm -mm. No. laughing all the way. <laughs> We've all been talking about doing a Christmas album. I think it's because we all are obsessed with Christmas. Let's go sing, guys. And all of the proceeds will go to charity. Oh, well, that's nice that all the proceeds will go to charity. Why have I not heard of this? Did this even come out? The Kardashians Christmas album? I don't remember this ever being a thing. Okay, well, looks like it hasn't come out. Maybe they'll come out with it this year. They might come out with the album. God, that's going to have a lot of auto-tune. <laughs> As long as you can carry a tune, you can sing. How do you know if you could carry a tune? Yeah, how? Test. We're going to diagnose oh, you guys today. No. She's going to lie to them. She's getting paid a lot. Right? She did so good. <laughs> well, ba, 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 ba. beautiful. It's giving primary school choir. That's what this is giving. I was actually in the choir, so. Before my voice broke, I could actually kind of sing. I went to like a choir camp. What do you call those competitions? Like the singing competition? If my school had a glee club, you know I would have been in it. I know Courtney and Kim just had their drama, but it's a positive that we're all here. This is how we operate in this family. We will talk so much shit about one sibling and be like all here together. We are known for just sweeping things under the rugs. This is our love language. It's just what we do. Well, if you keep sweeping things under the rug, then the rug gets all lumpy, becomes a tripping hazard. That's a Phil Dunphy quote. One of family rewatch number 10 happening at the moment. You want the voice to be singing? Let's just gig, 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 gig. Hey, 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 I need a warning I'm before you're gonna run off like that. Head. I'm not using my neck muscles. We have 425 muscles in the neck. Half of mine are probably Botoxed, so I can't, like, mine are probably uh, Botoxed. Actually, the Kardashians keep beating me to my own jokes. I was about to make a joke about them not being able to use all their muscles because of Botox, and now Kim's about to make that joke. Look, I appreciate the self-awareness, but you're taking away my joke. Is this what this whole episode is gonna revolve around? Because I'm gonna struggle. Where are you going, Joe? I'm just going to the bathroom. Oh, the old, I've got something to do, so I'm gonna pretend like I'm going Court, hey. Hey, baby so face is kim seeing a new man and, it, and they're keeping it a secret dying in here like so embarrassed i'd rather take like three shots and then just go in there and see what we've got yeah. like who cares where's kim don't we want her input she's not invested but how funny would it be if i like just tell everyone i'm too shy i can't do it we'll do i'll that, figure then. it out i'll get on a song and we can like add it to the album and then you produce it you produce it okay so baby face is a producer i swear to god if it's scooter braun kim <laughs> I wouldn't put a poster. Now would we, Taylor? But what song do you think I should do? Well, I think for you, for the fun of it, could be Santa Baby. He sounds kind of old, like whoever this is. And just sound amazing. And they'll be like, where did this come from? I feel like I'm going to need your help for sure. Wait, maybe I'm actually an idiot. Like, maybe I'm dumb and Babyface is not a code name and that's an actual person. I'm a, oh no, I'm, I'm going to have to Google it. Oh. <laughs> Babyface is an American singer, songwriter, and record producer. <laughs> the way I ran with that when I was so wrong. Oh my god, that was funny. Okay, I guess Kim's not singing a new man. I'm just an idiot. That's actually someone's stage name. <laughs> 
I'm so excited to hear this, you guys. We are all meeting at Travis's studio to start recording our Christmas song. Oh, no, I want to skip this so bad. The tequila is here to calm our nerves, hopefully loosen us up to get those vocal cords ready. I don't know if you're supposed to drink while singing. Doesn't it, like, do something to your throat? I mean, either way, though, if you need the confidence. Damn, Kim. A chaser of Muscara with tequila is so nasty. Well, yes, why would you chase alcohol sound. with more alcohol? Yeah. Also, Muscara okay. is gross. It's like drinking liquefied sugar. Okay, what's the song called so I can pull it up? She doesn't even know what the song is that she's about to sing. So you haven't rehearsed, you don't know the lyrics. This is as low effort as it gets, ladies. Oh, well, I guess it's because you're giving the money to charity, so you don't care. Giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Let's look at the snow show. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Kim, what about turn it up, turn it up? Turn me up, turn me, turn me, turn me up. I'm going out tonight. I'm going to work like I'm paying my bills. You know, Courtney and I spoke, we had our talk, and just doing things like this, like we as a family, Yeah, let's bring on that sisterly love. Just a touch of love, just a touch of love. <laughs> Where's mom when we need her? Oh, Kendall here. One take wonder up in this bitch. She's back. My mom, she knows what she's here for. Yeah, right. she's a businesswoman. <laughs> she's not gonna muck around. Yeah. Come on, Chris, show him how it's done. I'm a farmer, Gray. It'll be the perfect ending of a perfect okay. <laughs> thing. the songs we love to sing without a single stop. This is where it all happened. I had Jingle Bells last year, went to number one on the charts. That's impressive. She likes to say that she's charting and she's, <laughs> she's here charting. to chart. And what Santa baby, Santa. just like a sable. Why does she make it so sultry? Well, I guess this is kind of a sultry song. Been an awful good girl, Santa baby. Sorry, down the chimney tonight. Oh, I feel like I'm like listening to like, you know, like boyfriend ASMR on YouTube where they try to like seduce you. I feel like she seduced me from there. You better f it up before that one part that you f up. But other than that, uh -huh. you're a f legend, oh. you breathy. Wow, the tequila's really hitting Chloe. The best singer is me, but no one knows it, and I'm too afraid. It's because you think you're good at everything, Kendall. You have too much confidence. Yeah, I will never sing for anyone, but I can sing. You guys think it's Kylie? You said it was I Kylie. I swear to you, no one will ever know that I am the best singer in the family. Someone told her she was talented, and she's nothing of the sort. Stick to what you know. Walking. And why weren't you there, young lady? I have a different vision for myself and my singing career. I'm such a major singer. <laughs> What is going on? Like this, this has to be a joke, right? Like they're they're joking. Bitch, you better be joking. And I have such a beautiful voice. I don't know if you can have a vocal fry in a song. And I just don't think like they're worthy, honestly. <laughs> yeah, please tell me it's a joke. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. Guys, I'm freaking out. Just shut your eyes oh. and do it. Who's in charge here? Who does the mm. auto tuning? <laughs> you should ask the singers on TikTok, all the ones who pretend like they're singing live, but they're actually auto tuning and they're lip singing to it. Like Chris Olsen and friends. They're singing Jack the Hall. Oh, Courtney's not, you know, compared to everyone else, she's not that bad. I remember yes, when you were here. And okay, all I think the I take it back. Had. That is so good. Are we sure? No, good guys. For you. Peace. Handle your <laughs> bitch. You didn't do one. Yeah, why were you even there? Ooh, the orange Lambo. Where are we? Looks like Palm Springs. Do you guys know Christmas that together? the Christmas album genuinely keeps me up at night? Like, I have a nightmare. Oh, Thinking about the joy. voice. Kylie, nice for you to show up on the show. You're just in time to hear our songs. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling. Oh my god. <laughs> that auto tune is working overtime. <laughs> now, this is horrible, guys. Even with the auto tune, it sounds bad. Mine sounds yeah. terrible. Well, yes. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You can't sing. But... It's okay. Not everyone can. Wait, this actually isn't that bad. Exactly. Yeah, this is kind of good. Great. This is sultry. <laughs> that is so good. That's gonna chart. That's gonna chart. <laughs> She's gonna be charting, guys. <laughs> oh, not Courtney. That's really bad. <laughs> like, but now, like, we have these demos, so you guys can go in and like fine tune. We'll just re-record the whole thing. Dollhouse miniatures. Rich people love their Christmas. I love this time of the year because we can really just focus on family. This means the world to me when the holidays roll around. Yeah, it must be nice to have all that money to buy all those little trinkets, have all the time off. I'm not even putting up my Christmas tree this year. It takes up too much time. I'm such a Grinch this year, but whatever. I'll keep it to a minimum. I'm not gonna spoil it for everyone else. <laughs> Let's look at the house real quick. Whoa, that is a huge little dollhouse. God, these are big. I want to give each one of my six children a Christmas miniature doll 
dollhouse a that they house? can share with their kids for the rest of time. In a way, that's kind of cute, like if you're rich, because then every year you can buy more like decor and miniature furniture and things to add to it. But bold of her to assume that everyone would be into that. I feel like that's a very niche thing. I mean, I guess the kids would be, but what's Kendall going to do? She doesn't have kids. <laughs> she going to get her horses to play with it? They'll probably stomp on it. That could be fun though. I love dollhouses and I love creating dollhouses. I love looking at dollhouses. It's giving Cece Drake and Mona Vanderhall in The Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> oh my God, and in a way, Chris's daughters are kind of like her dolls. I did one for myself many, many years ago when Courtney and Kimberly and Chloe and Rob were little and it was one of the best things that I did. Where's the little house? Aww. They got a voice of Rob Kardash. Uh, mommy decorated. Senior. What a great house. 1987. Damn, they were. To, they have archival footage. Christmas only comes once a year. Christmas only comes once a year. Well, if only you knew what it was like in today's day and age, Rob Senior, because Christmas not only takes up December, but apparently the second Halloween is over for a lot of folk, straight into Christmas. Christmas is a two-month spectacle at this point. I'm better. I've worked on these dollhouses for the better part of the year, and I remember being in Milan, and I had the opportunity to bid on Betty White's dollhouse furniture. Damn, the body is not even that cold. Hasn't Betty White only been dead a year? 500. Okay. When you want something in life, there's a way to get what you really be want. Be rich. Just tell them to give Still up. with us, 600. Of course. I'll bid that bitch that's trying to beat you. Tell them who's on the line. Well, yeah. And How much do you think that these things even Christmas are? Morning. I'm trying to look at a price tag, because it's like, these look like the kind of things you could get in a thrift shop, but I'm guaranteeing they're way more expensive. I mean, if they're handmade, I guess it makes sense, but this is also kitschy. And then we need some beds. We need chandeliers. That isn't the vibe. That Santa's pretty cute. The Santa's can look either really cranky or constipated. <laughs> you Same. know what I mean? I just need to go home and watch the holiday. <laughs> Weirdly enough, my favorite Christmas movie is The Grinch. Although now I also like, oh, what's that movie called with Nina DeBrev? Love Hard. That's a cute movie. I like that Christian Stewart lesbian movie. What's that called? Something Season. More Christmas stuff with the dollhouses. I'm so excited. I to see all the house. Who knew that something this tiny could bring so much joy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some men out there would love to hear that from a woman. I mean, this. come on. One, two, three, four, oh my God. five, six, seven. So cute. <laughs> Outside of the houses, perfection. Oh my God. The insides look like a flaw. She's disappointed. The mm. inside of the houses, however, are not exactly my vision. This is a little messy. Oh. <laughs> At least she's honest with her. She doesn't sugarcoat it. Oh, this is looking a little... Mm -hmm. Okay, this is looking a little busy. Way too busy. Okay, Kim will lose her mind. Yeah, this I don't like either. Okay, they put so much effort into the house and then this is like... <laughs> she really house. hates okay. it. I, I don't know. Me off. I, 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 okay, this is horrible. <laughs> She just keeps going. Honestly, Chris, this poor store lady. She is just like, whoa, like, you're giving me whiplash. Yeah, this just needs to be cleaned up. And there's way too much. It's just busy. If you want something done the way you want it done, you have to be brutally honest. Oh, Chris, you know, we're talking about dollhouses, right? Like, this is so unserious. This is, I actually kind of love this. This reminds me of Keeping Up, where, like, they would just do dumb shit for the hell of it. Like, not everything was that serious. This is funny. And mm -hmm. then you need half of the accessories. Do you know? Okay. You see mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. We need another stab at this. Okay. See, I think minimalist dollhouses aren't really this lady's forte, Chris. If you can see by the rest of the store, it's not really a, a common thing. It's a six month to a year project, so it has to be done on time. It takes six months to a year to make those dollhouses? Are we? Are we? <sighs> Are we being for real right now? We live in different worlds. So anxious that these houses aren't gonna be done in time. If things aren't going at a proper pace, I'm not gonna make Christmas. Yeah, Christmas just definitely won't happen without these gargantuan excessive doll houses. <laughs> I hope we get to see Christmas Day. This looks Christmassy. This is like low-key getting me in the mood. Oh, it's Christmas Eve. They really are showing us Christmas. Christmas time is one of the main times of the year that we don't have our cameras with us. But I really wanted to share with you guys what some of our Christmas yes. is like. So I finish. snuck in an Ooh. iPhone. Oh, hi. We just got some fun oh my God, that is Christmas so Christmas. gorgeous. I love like the and full on, red theme. Oh my God, I love the rug. No, I love to try to make things feel more special with more meaning. Oh, so Courtney is always the one throwing Christmas Eve. Interesting. Christmas morning, I slept in all my makeup. That's not good. I have to go wake up. But she's just like us. She's just like us. Except I only do that when I'm like violently drunk. Oh my god, that's like a toy store in there. Those are all filled with toys. Like, those aren't like decorative boxes that are wrapped like presents. Damn! Let me get some behind the scenes pictures. That's cute. Merry Christmas! Look at what oh, Chloe some fake did snow. for Christmas morning. I love Christmas. Thanks to Kris Jenner. That oh my god, I'm living for these pictures. Kim's like, huh? Like, Chloe, oh, Chloe looks gorgeous. 
Courtney spray tan. This is like so Y2K. I love it. Christmas is really about family. Oh my god, are we gonna get to see her give the doll houses? Because like I need to see that their reactions. Oh my god. Oh shame. She's getting like really emotional. We're getting the Kim cry face. Green job. Oh, that's cute. Oh, Oh, I'm not good with emotional stuff, guys. Oh, shame, because she had the dollhouse with her dad and her mom growing up. Now I feel bad for making fun of her crying face. That's actually so sweet. Ah, uh, I get choked up. It was so sweet. It was worth every Aww. bit of the stress, every Aww. bit of anxiety. It was delicious. Enjoyed and appreciated. Oh, oh, oh. How many times can I say all? Oh. Every family member got a house that's very that. She made my house white with all light wood furniture. It's so sentimental to me. I'm a memory hoarder. Well, let's hope it doesn't show up in the store. Of, like just <laughs> look this is Kendall's like riding clothes in my room oh she like made boots, it specific and, like, helmet, to their personality she put an engagement ring oh. in mine because she thought it was manifesting <laughs> an engagement for me so Christmas is literally a fairy tale it's a dream everyone is kind and happy and well, not everyone and it's literally the happiest time of year and as soon as Christmas is done we count down the days until next year Alrighty guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am talking really fast because I'm sweating so much in this sweater. It's summertime here. I just, I wanted to go for the Christmassy vibes. But yeah, when it comes to the Kardashians, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have been slowly but surely losing my passion and interest for making videos about the Kardashians. I'm not fully at the point yet where I'm like, let's just stop. But I have considered it. But at the end of the day, I know a lot of you really enjoy these videos. And instead of watching the show, you watch my videos about them. So I do want to continue making them. But I just want to say that it's just not possible for me to keep up to date with the pace that the show is coming out with my YouTube channel. I am going to try get through season four before season five airs and I will probably be like I did with my last Kardashian video omitting certain storylines just keeping them in my extended reactions over on Patreon and just doing two to three to four episodes per YouTube video depending on what's going on within the storylines. Now this is for many different reasons mainly timing constraints but also mainly copyright. You know I'm sure you could tell by my last video and this video I have to do a lot of edits. Copyright has become a lot stricter on the platform so I'm really trying to like migrate away from using copyrighted content on my channel even though it does fall under fair use so if you see any changes that is why but like I said in the beginning of the video I have a couple more videos coming out before the end of the year to wrap up the year I'm going to be making a video about all the films that came out in 2023 that I watched all the tv shows that came out or came out with a new season in 2023 that I watched and then when it comes to 2024 I have some exciting stuff coming through with the film and tv space so please stay tuned for that and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below your thoughts and yeah guys thank you so much for your support i hope that you have an amazing holiday i really hope regardless of whatever it is that you're doing that you just have a relaxing enjoyable time yeah guys that's it for me in this video i hope you enjoyed it and as always i hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world bye Yo.